Do not want to go Nuketown again. People, for once, give Nuketown off the map. Just vote something else. <laughs> Nuketown oh, yeah. happens way too many times. But if y'all want to get dominated, go ahead and pick Nuketown. You're going to lose. Whatever, though. I guess we gotta... I, I, I need to drill this into people's head. Stop picking fucking Nuketown. If you're going to lose. Yep. I need to fucking drill it inside their tiny little thick heads. <laughs> wow. If y'all want to get dominated, go ahead and pick Nuketown. You're going to lose. If y'all wanna get dominated, if y'all wanna get dominated... Well, nobody saw that coming, right? <laughs> oh man, that poor guy. If only he knew he was sitting in the lobby with one of the sweatiest tryhards in Call of Duty history. I was really hoping he would cuss me out and throw a temper tantrum at the end of the game, but uh, he was... He was completely silent, he didn't say a single word, which is fine by me, because that silence lets me know that I definitely succeeded in crushing his soul and will to play the game, so I had a great time. Anyways though, uh, long time no talk, I have no idea how long it's been exactly, but I know it has been a long time. Uh, some of you are probably wondering, like, what the hell's going on, where have you been, uh, a new COD came out and you haven't uploaded a single gameplay, what the hell is wrong with you? We know you're a scumbag and everything, but you usually upload at least one gameplay before you disappear. Which is usually true, but I have some shocking news for you guys, so I'm going to have to ask you to strap yourselves in and brace yourselves. Uh, crap, how should I put this? Um, Infinite Warfare is complete shit. Uh, it's so shit that I played it on release day, I got to level 9 or 10, and after that I just said, fuck this shit, I'm out, and that's what I did. I <laughs> completely stopped playing the game, I haven't played it since release day, so uh, if you guys thought that I was just over here grinding away at Call of Duty and just being a scumbag and refusing to upload gameplays, uh, that's not the case at all. I just, I haven't been playing at all, so there haven't been any gameplays to upload. So, yeah, that's what happened. So, let's just all take a moment to give a round of applause to Infinity Ward for finally breaking me, for finally being the ones to break my will to play Call of Duty. I didn't think it would happen, but boy, you sure proved me wrong, Infinity Ward, so... Bravo! Just bravo! Job well done, gentlemen. Hey, you did the impossible. It's amazing. Oh, man. I, <laughs> I, I, I really was planning on making this, uh, just this entire video a full Infinity Ward roast, but honestly, I really don't want my first video back to just be entirely negative, so eh, let's, let's save the Infinity Ward roast for another video. Let's, uh, let's be a little bit more positive with this one. But the rest is coming, don't you worry. I I've been holding in this rage for Infinity Ward for way too long. <laughs> There's no way I can put this off forever. So, uh, sorry to any of you guys that happen to be Infinity Ward fans, or heck, even Infinite Warfare fans for whatever reason, but I gotta do it. It's, it's not good for my health, holding in all these negative emotions. I, I gotta let them out, so <laughs> it's, gonna it's gonna happen one day. I, I don't know when, but one day soon. Uh, moving on to the more positive note, though. The Call of Duty community has had its prayers answered. Call of Duty is back to boots on the ground, back to World War II, and back to its roots, thanks to Sledgehammer and uh, Call of Duty World War II. I haven't played the game myself, but I have DM'd reliable and trustworthy people that have played it, and they've all told me it's amazing. So, based off of their opinion and the gameplay that I have seen so far, I actually really am excited for the game. There's two new features that the game's introducing to the COD series that I'm particularly excited for. Uh, the first one's Headquarters, it's this little hub similar to what Destiny has where uh, all the players can just get together and have friendly and loving interactions with each other because that's what the COD community is all about, right? Just friendliness and love. Uh, I, I can't wait for that, man. That's going to be great. But uh, really the best thing about Headquarters though is the fact that there's going to be uh, certain areas that are only accessible if you are at a certain rank or prestige. And so that should give some very much needed incentive to actually want to play the game and rank up all the way because in past CODs you really wouldn't get anything at all. You would just get a little different symbol next to your name and maybe some extra classes. Or actually I guess Advanced Warfare did give you some special variants towards the final prestiges and you can get some extra titles and emblems but and none of that stuff really appealed to me, to be honest. It really didn't motivate me at all to rank up. The only reason I would prestige all the way and pass CODs was because, well, 
I'm going to be playing the game and earning XP anyways, I might as well proceed, right? So if this whole VIP section thing of headquarters is done well and it's done right, it should give people the proper motivation to actually want to grind through all the prestiges and it gives them something to look forward to as they're ranking up. So hopefully they pull it off. I'm, I'm definitely rooting for them. Uh, the second feature, though, that made me really happy when I saw that was announced was the fact that they are replacing Final Kill Cams with Play the Game, which is just, oh, it's so good, man. I, that is amazing because, I mean, if it works anything like Overwatch, um, it's highest amount of kills in the shortest amount of time. That's what gets you play the game. So that's perfect for me because that means all my quad feeds and kill chains are finally going to get their chance to shine. I'm going to be so motivated to sweat so much more every single game just to make sure I get play of the game every single game. That's going to be my mission throughout Call of Duty World War II. Make sure I get play of the game every single game, all right? I don't give a shit. How much Adderall and G Fuel I had to chug down to make that happen, but it's gonna happen, okay? I, I might go into cardiac arrest by the end of November, but hey man, it's, as long as I get that play the game screen time, it's worth it. <laughs> no, but I mean, seriously, it really is cool because it introduces this little extra small competitive aspect to the game because if you're playing with a friend that's as good as you or friends that are as good as you, you can compete with each other to see who can get play the game. So that's why I'm so pumped up for it. Uh, I know not everybody's pumped up for it. I did see that trick shotters were pretty upset about final kill cams being taken out since they do like getting their 360 YY ladder stall final kill cams or whatever the hell they do i don't know man i'm not hip anymore i don't know i don't know what the kids are doing nowadays but i mean i still started to kind of feel bad for them once i saw how hysterical they were on twitter about the whole thing and then though i started to remember all the times they ended up on my team going three and 28 feeding the enemy team streaks just having a grand old time spinning around Meanwhile, I'm mid-map having a fucking conniption, try, trying to clear the entire enemy team off the B flag by myself, so... Fuck them. Fuck Trick Shotters and their feelings. I don't care. They don't give a shit about mine, clearly, so... Fuck them, too. <laughs> oh, man. I did say this is supposed to be a positive concert, didn't I? Oh, uh, well. That shit didn't last long. I, I, I can't help it, okay? There's just too much salt involved in Call of Duty. It just it gets the better of me. So, to my one trick shot or subscriber i'm i'm sorry man i'm sorry for lashing out against your people i uh, actually honestly i really doubt i have any trick shot or subscribers so i'm not really too worried about getting any backlash for saying that one thing that i am worried about though is well considering the fact that sledgehammer games is developing world war ii and they're also the studio that developed advanced warfare i'm really worried that they're going to include some heavy skill-based matchmaking in public matches just like they did for uh, advanced warfare the skill-based matchmaking in that game was just it was so obnoxious, man. Like, every single game just felt like I was playing a game battles match. It completely ruined the public match experience. Uh, I know somebody's gonna probably end up saying, like, Oh, you just, you just don't want to play against good players. Well, you're goddamn right I don't want to play against good players. How else am I supposed to get gameplay for my yearly upload if I'm playing against good players, huh? You guys think I'm actually good at Call of Duty? Pfft, man, I've had you guys fooled. The truth is that it actually takes an entire year for the stars to align perfectly and for me to find the perfect new blobby so I can get some semi-decent gameplay for you guys. So, there you go. The, the truth is out there. I, I feel a giant weight lifted off my shoulder. It feels great, man. Oh, uh, boy. Uh, there, there actually is a, a specific reason why I never upload consistently. I, I swear I don't do it just to be a, a dick to you guys or just to blue ball you guys on purpose. I, there actually is a reason. I'll probably get into it sometime in the near future. But definitely not right now. So back to skill-based matchmaking, though. I really don't want to see it in regular pubs. In ranked playlists, obviously, obviously it's completely fine there. I mean, ranked playlists is where you go to actually experience heavy competition. But in regular pubs, I just want to run around like a carefree headless chicken so I really would rather not deal with it there but if they do end up putting it in regular pubs I guess I could tolerate it because I mean I put up with it for so long in advanced warfare I I didn't drop advanced warfare until May or June so I put up with six months of skill based matchmaking in that game and that game was so hectic thanks to the jetpacks it created like such an overwhelming amount of lines of sight you had to worry about and flank routes you had to worry about so if I could tolerate it in a game as hectic as that I'm sure I can handle it a lot better in a boots on the ground COD because Boots on the ground cut, it's just, it's so much easier and less stressful to play. It's a lot more predictable and easy to control thanks to, you know, the lack of jetpacks and all the verticality that that introduces and randomness that that introduces, so... Yeah, maybe if they do add it, it wouldn't be the end of the world, but... I'd, I'd still rather not. I'd still rather not deal with it, so hopefully they don't put it in. Uh, that's all I really wanted to say about Call of Duty World War II, though. I wanted to keep it 
semi-short and simple. I'll talk about it more once I actually play the game myself, which should be around, what, late August? I think that's when the beta drops, so yeah, I'll talk about it more around then. And any gameplay that you guys see from me from now and then will probably be from old CODs because, well, I I've been a jetpacker these past two years, so I really need to shake the dust off these boots and get used to boots on the ground gameplay again, so hopefully you guys don't mind that. But uh, yeah, that's, that's all I got. I, like I said before, it has, has been a while, so I just wanted to drop in and say what's up. Hope you guys are doing well, and thanks for listening, all. I'll talk to you guys soon. Maybe. Probably not. Seriously, you bitch?